we're gonna get started with a uh, warm up, and then we're gonna do about three sets of uh, exercises, kind of full body. Uh, just start out, nothing real uh, advanced or, or too difficult. Uh, modify as you see fit, um, but try to push yourself. Uh, either way, should last about 30 minutes. If you want to keep going, uh, by all means, uh, just repeat uh, one of the sets that we do. Um, each set will kind of uh, start back off with a push-up. Um, so uh, before we get into working out, I'm gonna set my watch to a workout mode so I kind of have an idea of the time and also I can look at my heart rate. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm looking at when I look at my heart rate other than, I don't know, making sure that it's like between 100 and 120 maybe. Um, I'm not a fitness expert. Uh, I just exercise um, usually at work and uh, for free, which is awesome on the clock. Um, but don't have that luxury right now, thanks to the virus. So thanks for joining with me. Um, and uh, let's start out by getting our heart rate going. Um, I'll try to give whatever tips that I've learned from the instructors that I've worked with. Um, but again, you know something better, put in the comments, uh, let me know otherwise, um, and just do what you know is right to do. Listen to your body most of all. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get started with some warm up. Uh, could do some jumping jacks. Do about 50 of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 9, 30, 1, 2, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 15. We'll do some uh, knee kicks. Try to get your knees like 90 degrees. Put your hands out to kind of help. And make sure you breathe. Always make sure you breathe. You need oxygen to the muscles. Is, um, like mass, building muscle is going to help you lose weight. Muscle takes more energy to consume, uh, which means you can eat more calories, or if you don't increase your calorie intake, you'll burn fat. Um, so, yeah, we want other we want to build muscle. Alright, let's go 
go back and do some more jumping jacks. Just kind of going with it. Look at my heart rate. All right, let's do some more uh, knee kicks. So that hopefully gave some people some time to log on and uh, get ready. Also, we wanted to get our heart rate up there. So, like I said, we're gonna do three sets of uh, kind of a full body workout. Nothing too intense or too insane. Most sets are gonna be about uh, 10 reps. So uh, let's start out with push-ups. Um, like I said in my little test video, for push-ups you're gonna wanna ground your hands down really well, kinda spread them um, like you would do in yoga. You're gonna wanna twist your elbows in. So you see my elbow comes in like that. And then squeeze here like you're uh, squeezing a tennis ball. And then your back shoulders, you wanna blade your shoulders. So that means push up as if you're pushing through your shoulders into the ceiling. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do from there is you'll kick back. Um, and when you kick back and get both legs up, you're gonna wanna tighten your core. To tighten your core, you're gonna push your pelvic pelvis up like this. Uh, it's like belly button to chin and then Kind of tighten down uh, so you have two forces working against them, themselves uh, keeping this tight and uh, and nice and level uh, so from your shoulder to your ankle should be a straight line let's go so we got to check hands grounded elbows in squeeze tighten the ball lift my uh, blade my shoulders and then one leg back, second leg back, tighten it in, squeeze the core, and then we're gonna go back with our elbows directly behind us into a 90 degree angle, like this. One, two, inhale on the coming down, exhale up, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. You might notice that I breathe uh, quite a bit. I kind of have my teeth uh, kind of close together and I'm pushing, forcing air out through my mouth. That actually helps uh, bring more oxygen to my, uh, to my body, uh, which goes to my muscles and gives me more strength for endurance. Uh, so uh, that's our push-ups. From there, let's do some sit-ups. Uh, for this, we're gonna start off with some star crunches. So you're gonna lay out in a star, legs out, arms out, and then we're gonna go from toe to toe, opposite sides and across, but laying down. And uh, what that's gonna do is work out our, our abs, but also the muscles in our abs, they go this direction. And so you wanna work out in the direction of the abs, so that's why you see so many twists with ab workouts. Those are gonna be your most effective ab workouts. Um, all right, let's get started. Let's do about uh, 15 of these. All right, one, two, one, two, two, three, three, four, Four, five, five. As you do this, six. Squeeze those abs, same principle. Keep the core tight. Don't just haphazardly put them up there. Seven, seven, but really engage the abs. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time here. And we're not doing this just to stroke our own backs. We want actual results. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. 14, 15, 15. All right. Another thing to note too, if you start to get tired at any point, don't sacrifice form over quantity. Slow down, take your time, make sure you keep good form. Most importantly, make sure you keep your core tight, engaged. Um, all right, so from there, let's do some uh, uh, some leg lifts. Let's go ahead and get in cat cow. Ground your hands again. Knees about uh, shoulder width apart. We're just gonna lift up. One, two, three, four. Again, keep your core tight. Five, six, seven. I'm gonna go ahead and skip back. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna go to fifteen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, other side. One, two. Three, four, five. Go ahead and spin it around. As you can see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Awesome. Um, for this next one, um, we're gonna work on our triceps. Uh, if you don't have, if you have a chair around, hopefully you can find one. I'll give you a second here. Give you about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. 
uh, to find a chair that you can stabilize against the wall or, or otherwise. I'm going to use this bench that I have here. So I've got it kind of stabilized against the wall and the table. Um, so find yourself something that you can uh, bear your weight down on, make sure you're safe, and we'll get started here in just a second. <coughs> Giving you guys a second to grab a chair. All right, hopefully you're ready. We're gonna go ahead and stick our arms out, our legs out, rather. And let's go down one. And let's go ahead and uh, go into kind of a seat pose here. Two, three, make sure that you're bending at the elbow. Four, you're breathing. Five, and let's in engage our core so we come up. Six, pushing outwards. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. And uh, that completes our first. Uh, our, feet, our first set, so well done there. Uh, our first round, rather. And we're gonna go back to push-ups. This time we'll do wide push-ups. So, take a little breath. We only want about 20, 30 seconds in between each exercise. Uh, keep our blood flowing. What you can do is between each rounds, let's go ahead and just shake it out. Let's just shake it all out, actually. And, uh, this is kind of a funny move, feels embarrassing to do, um, but I'm just kind of shake it, shake it all out. All right, and actually between rounds, take a sip of water. A uh, small sip. You don't want to fill your stomach, get cramps, or bloated, or anything like that. And when you're ready, let's do some more push-ups. This time, same thing. Have good form. Pay attention to your form over the number of repetitions you do. Um, this time, we're going to uh, we're going to actually move out to the side and do a push-up, and then come back to a push-up. So side and then side and not bad and scoot back so you can see me all right so hands grounded uh, elbows in squeezing the peach pushing my shoulder blades up and getting good form tightening that core and let's move to the side one still going 90 degree angle on those elbows Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. All right, that's not so bad, huh? If that's your first time doing that, I might feel really awkward doing the transition there. Uh, you might tumble, you might fall out of form. It's okay, give yourself grace. You showed up and, uh, and we'll get better as we go on. All right, now we're gonna do crunches again, but this time uh, let's just do our more classic bicycles with a twist. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of angle myself like this for your viewing pleasure and uh, come down, legs at 90 degrees. You can optionally put your hands behind your head, but don't use your hands to support. You can engage the gore, core, belly button up, chest down, and we're going to go to side and side. side and side. Let's just do this for 
I don't know, about 30 seconds or so until we get tired. Uh, push through that last bit, not until you want to let go, but until you start to feel yourself really kind of stretching. All right, here we go. Make sure you breathe. Feel like it's burning and uh, I forgot that each round I want to take off an article of clothing one because I'm hot two because I promise this would be clothing optional so uh, we just get more and more naked as we go uh, get naked at home too uh, even if nobody's there um, it's uh, beneficial that's why they do naked yoga and all those types of things it's good for the psyche don't question it you know it's good all right, so let's uh, do some uh, leg lifts. Oh, no, sorry, let's do squats. So with the squats, you're gonna wanna be uh, legs shoulder width apart. And uh, when you come down, it's really important that your knees stay over your ankles. You don't want to be in like this, uh, and you don't want to be out too much either, unless you give yourself uh, some angles on your feet. You don't want to be pushing out. You don't want to be pushing in. That's how you enter your, your knees. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do it with my feet straight forward. Make sure that my knees stay over my ankles the whole time. And we're going to, again, pull the core up. Uh, tighten the core, so belly button to chest, chest to belly button, and we'll go down into seated one. When you come up to the top, the whole time your your legs should be engaged all the way up. You should feel it here. You should feel it in your glutes. Your glutes, your butt should be real, shouldn't be loose. Should be nice and tight. And we're gonna come down and then thrust up really tightening those glutes, uh, really tighten the hamstrings. Just stay tight all the way through, keep your feet nice and rooted, and your knees over your ankles the whole time. So uh, let's start from the top. We'll do 15. All right, here we go. One, two, three, inhale, explode up, four, Explode up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen. All right. So that wasn't too bad. A lot of time on form. I'll keep going over these things. It's just what I've been taught. Again, I'm not a professional. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just a parrot. Um, but uh, my uh, old exercise coach was featured in Red Bulls ma magazine last month. He trains professionals, works at Nike, and uh, has multiple awards for... Uh, and, and get his book of records for doing all kinds of crazy stuff like the most amount of pull-ups a human has ever done. He owns that award. Uh, so he's taught us some really good form and technique. But again, I, I may or may not be conveying it as well. Uh, anyways, let's uh, keep going here. We're gonna do some tricep dips. Um, so 
talking so much. Uh, I'm not paying attention. We're gonna go back here like this and into like bridge and just come down and then pop back up again, tightening the core and thrusting and making sure that we're tighten the glutes, tighten the hamstrings, all the things. We're gonna try to like bend the elbows as we come down and get a little bit of a tricep workout out of this. Um, so let's start, we'll do 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, not too bad. And that uh, rounds out uh, the second round. So let's go ahead and take a sip of water, shed another article of clothes. push-ups again. Uh, this time I'm going to go with the diamond push-ups. These are pretty uh, tough. Uh, stick, stick with me. I'm going to try to do 12. Um, you can keep your hands in a diamond like this. It's important again uh, to have good form, keep your core tight, and we're going to bend at the elbows 90 degrees. Uh, it might feel awkward at first if you've never done this before. That's okay. It gets better the more you do it. So, my hands are in a diamond and uh, elbows are in. Squeezing that tennis ball under my armpit, pushing up through my shoulder blades, putting my leg out one. We might want to go out a little wider on this one, give you more stability. Uh, one, two, tightening that core. And let's go for 15 or 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you feel your pelvis starting to drop, or your belly started to push out, correct it, stay in a straight line. Well, two more to go, let's do this. One, two, all right, good job. All right, so this time for our core, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Do this thing, I don't know what they're called. Go ahead. One arm out, the other leg's out. You don't want to droop. You don't want to push too far out that way. Stay in a straight line. Core engaged. Put your arm up. And we're gonna reach through here. And then come back up. We're gonna do this 10 times on each side. So, one. Two, three, four, five. Really engage that core and twist at the core. Sit, seven. If you feel yourself drooping, catch it. Eight. I'm pretty out of shape. I've kind of let myself go the last few weeks. I'm wobbling. 
nine, ten. All right. If that was hard for you, don't beat yourself up. That was hard for me. It's, a man, it's crazy what just a couple weeks off will do for your stamina and strength. Um, it's all right. That's why we're here. Let's do this. All right, other side. I'll go ahead and turn here. Go. One. Two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten. All right, excellent. If you're working out at home with me, pat yourself on the back. Got one more to go before we stretch out and take off our last article of clothes. Um, so let's go ahead and for our legs, let's this time do some uh, lunges. All right, don't really have a whole lot of tips here other than, um, 90 degree bend at the uh, knee. So let's just go here. I guess keep your core tight. Keep your glutes engaged. Go ahead and feel your, feel your butt cheek right there. Uh, it's loose like that. Now tighten it. That's what you want to feel as you go down. So we're going to go one. And then we'll switch. Two, really, I'm springing, I'm pulling in from my legs. Coming down, engage, and I'm using these muscles to push myself up. Down, 90, really springing up. back. I think we're good there. So that uh, completes our, our workout and our round before we move.